Welcome Biology 230 students at Tuskegee University. This is Dr. Griffin with the fourth video for Chapter 5 of Module 3. In this video, we will focus on nucleic acids. If you remember from Video 2, we discussed proteins, which were the actors and the actresses. They were the main players in living organisms. Well, nucleic acids, they're the scripts. Nucleic acids store, express, and transmit hereditary information. Nucleic acids are the polymers. They are the macromolecules, and they're polymers of nucleotides. Well, what's a nucleotide? Well, a nucleotide must consist of a nitrogenous base, a five-carbon sugar, and one or more phosphate groups. Again, nucleotides contain a nitrogenous, nitrogenous base, five carbon sugar, and multiple or at least one phosphate groups. Nucleosides, recognize that there is a letter difference. Nucleosides contain the nitrogenous base and the five carbon sugar. So essentially, Going from a nucleoside to a nucleotide only involves the adding of the phosphate group. There are two families of nitrogenous bases or nitrogen bases. The first group is known as the group of purines. And your two examples of purines are adenine and guanine, or as you may know it as the A and the G. The family of pyrimidines, excuse me, here's my cursor, are cytosine, thymine, and uracil. And remember, uracil is only found in RNA, not DNA. A good way to remember this is that pyrimidines, root word looking like pyramid, you can think of pyramids as being cut, C-U-T. Purines, by structure, are larger than pyrimidines. In fact, purines have two rings fused together, where pyrimidines only have one ring of carbon-based sugar. The sugars that make up nucleic acids are either deoxyribose, as we see in DNA, or ribose, as we see in RNA, given the two different names because they have two different sugars. Deoxyribose has one less hydroxyl group. So here, you only see hydrogen. Well, in ribose, you have two hydroxyl groups. So that's the main structural difference. And therefore, you have the name ribose and deoxyribose for DNA. Nucleic acid, the polymer, is structured, again, in monomers, of the nitrogenous, the nucleotides. And those nucleotides, again, is going to contain the nitrogenous base, so shown here in orange. And again, this is a purine or pyrimidine, shown here. Let me get my cursor back. Is this a purine or a pyrimidine? Question. You should be able to answer that. It's two different rings, so it is a purine. Okay? You have the nucleotide, get my cursor back, which has the nitrogenous, nitrogenous base, this sugar, five carbon sugar, and then we have a phosphate group. Ugh, my cursor keeps disappearing, so sorry. Here's the phosphate group, okay? At a free end of a strand of nucleic acid, where there is a phosphate, that is known as the 5 prime N. It is known as 5 prime because this phosphate group is attached to this 5 prime carbon, okay, which is right here. At the free end of a strand of nucleic acid, that is where the hydroxyl group is the end point, that is known as the 3 prime end. And it's known as 3 prime end because the hydroxyl group is attached to the 3 prime carbon. Okay? 
And if you do a close-up look of the nucleotide, which consists of a nucleoside of the nitrogenous base and the sugar, we see that the one prime carbon, or the first carbon, is attached to the nitrogenous base. Second prime carbon, get my cursor back, second, kind, second prime carbon, and here is the third prime carbon, so the hydroxyl group would be here. Fourth prime carbon, and then five prime or fifth prime carbon, in which the phosphate group is attached to. So this whole thing is a nucleotide, and this sugar and nitrogenous base, nitrogenous base is the nucleoside. And another word for nucleic acid is just polynucleotide, meaning many nucleotides. Therefore, nucleic acids are polymers of nucleotides. This is the fourth video for Module 3, Chapter 5. You have one more video to watch. You are 80% done. You are almost there. And this will conclude all the video lecture series. The next video will conclude all video lecture series for Module 3 for Chapters 4 and 5. Don't forget to view the next video for Module 3 focusing on Chapter 5. This is Dr. Griffin. Hope you have a great day.